Jambo means hello. A Swahili alphabet book by Muriel Feelings, pictures by Tom Feelings. A. Arusi is a wedding. When two people marry, it is an important event for their village as well as for their families. It is celebrated with drumming, dancing, and much food for all. B. Baba means father. Parents teach their children the things they will need to know when they are grown. The father teaches his sons to build the home and to make tools. C. Chaluka is food. In villages, the people grow most of their food. Together, many families raise crops like corn, green vegetables, fruits and nuts, and divide the harvest. D. Dawa is medicine. Africans have always had many nature cures for illnesses. Certain herbs are used to make a tea for reducing fever. Other herbs help cure a stomach ache or cold. E. Embe is a mango. This sweet juicy fruit found along the East African coast is curvy shaped and golden in color. Mangoes in other areas are oval or round with green, red, or gold skin. F. Fagio means broom. Made from long straws tied near one end, brooms are used to sweep the floor of the home and the smooth clay grounds around the homestead. G. Gudulia is a clay jar. Jars of clay are made by a potter. They are used for keeping water for cooking and washing or for storing grain for the next planting season. H. Peshima means respect. Children are taught early to show respect for adults and older children. In many communities, it is the custom for even grown people to kneel when greeting an older person. I. Ibada means worship. Africans worship God in many ways. The Muslim religion is one of the most widespread in Eastern Africa. J. Jambo means hello. The formal way to say it is hu jambo. With these words, the long, courteous greeting begins. K. Karibu means welcome. A caller says hodi, which means may I come in? The reply is always karibu, whether it is a relative, friend, or stranger. L. Lipo is payment. At the marketplace, goods are sold using coins and paper money. In some markets, payment is one item traded for another. M. Mama means mother. The mother teaches her daughters homemaking skills like grinding corn, cooking, and making handicrafts. She teaches both daughters and sons to help care for the younger children. N. Ngoma is drum and dance. Ngoma means both drum and dance, as drumming and dancing are commonly done together. Nowadays, a party with modern music and dancing is also an ngoma. O. Oteo is an ambush. Most of the big cats of Africa ambush their prey from trees. The lion and cheetah lie low in the tall grass and spring upon a grazing zebra or hartebeest. P. Punda is a donkey. The donkey is an important animal to farmers of some areas. Donkeys transport the harvested crops from the farmlands to the homesteads. Swali means question. Why isn't there a letter Q in the Swahili language? R. Rafiki is a friend. Children do more than play with one another. Together, friends do chores like tending cattle or fetching water from the river. S. Shule is school. Because the climate is warm, many country schools hold classes outdoors, but in the rainy season, the classes must meet inside the school building. T. Tembo is the elephant. Across the savanna lands, elephant herds move in search of food and water. With other animals of the plains, they gather around a water hole to drink and bathe. 
you. Uzuri means beauty. Beauty means different things in different parts of Africa. In one, it is a woman with a clean-shaven head. In another, it is a great crown of braided hair. V. Viombo are utensils. A craftsman makes utensils for the village. Carved wooden bowls and ladles and pitchers made from gourds are useful and decorative objects for the home. W. Watoto are children. Children play out of doors most of the time. Sometimes they form a circle to play a rhythmic game with funny songs, quick steps, and hand clapping. X. Kiswahili does not have an X. Y. Yungi Yungi is a water lily. These huge pink or white flowers are found floating along the edges of lakes and ponds. In some places, the roots are used as food. Z. Zay Zay is a stringed instrument. This musical instrument is the great-grandfather of the banjo and the guitar we know today. The xylophone, too, comes to us from Africa.